on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I think what Anton is talking about is something that's necessary for a man, young man's growth. And I think it's being conflated with something that is like traumatic. Like it sounds like when you're saying survivor, survivorship bias, that's like um, something that shouldn't be happening. Like it's, it's not a thoughtful process. And I think that's the opposite of what's being um, encouraged here. You know, the, the formative pain, as someone said in the comments, something that's for a reason to help men grow. Do you see that as something traumatic? Um, so, I mean, <laughs> it said our alpha men created from hurt. And I was just answering that. She want us all to be oh. Zaya, Zaya Wade. Come on. She want us all to be Dwayne Wade's son, fam. That's what she want. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Rick. That's right. what she want, bro. I'm telling you, man. If 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 you leave it up to these women to determine the, the fate of men, we all gonna be wearing tutus and skirts and and prance across the thing, and they gonna and they gonna tell us not to even label us men no more. Label us humans. All right, you guys. If you are just tuning in, welcome to La Peef. Let's talk. Let's also continue to take a moment right now to get these likes up. And also make sure you subscribe to the La Peef Network. Gonna we'll move on to our next topic. Coming to you first, Danielle. Our alpha man created from hurt. Our alpha man created from hurt. Let's talk. <laughs> Um, I think that the, the normal answer is no in a healthy society. I think that a lot of people might be able to say that men have been brought to the ideology of the red pill of understanding leadership through, um, uh, something that wasn't positive for them. Now I think hurt is shaming language. And I think it's a human nature to correct, you know, self-correct and a better yourself. So if you experience something bad, you know, I don't think that's being hurt and and you know, you shouldn't be shamed for that. I think people who have negative situations try to find better situations. So I think that it's not an, an, um, a matter of being hurt. I think it's a matter of knowledge. I think it's a matter of knowing better. And that's, you know, learning better. They don't have to be You're hurt wrong for again. it. You're wrong again. Wrong <laughs> on every level on this question. Sorry, baby girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, it, let, let me know. Elaborate. All right, Anton. Well, All right, I'll, go ahead. Well, I mean, because men are supposed to suffer. You don't even know who you are until you go through things. And so I'm an advocate for men suffering, go through it. And hurt comes in many different forms. It comes from failure when it comes, like when it comes to you trying to survive, it comes from failure when it comes, you know, you dealing with women, all of these things. But the way in which we separate the real men from the fake or the men that's meant to lead and the men that's not is through the pain is can you endure long enough to get to the success? Can you endure and suffer through this long enough? Because it's a lot. Most men are going to say, I can't take it no more, or I just want to be comfortable. But it's the person that's willing to be uncomfortable long enough to get through and see whatever it is that they want or get to get through and get to whatever it is that they are looking for. Right. That's the thing that's going to create that monster, that alpha. You know what I'm saying? The person that can endure it through anything in order to see the success. So, yes, I think that it absolutely pain is going to be the thing that helped create alphas, because without going through that suffering, without going through the pain, you're never, ever going to be the man that you're supposed to be, which is why I always tell women, stop coddling him. Stop protecting him. Boys are supposed to they supposed to hurt. They supposed to suffer. They supposed to get scars. They supposed to battle. That's what we that's what we built for. That's why we stronger. That's why like that's why we're naturally more stronger and always are going to be than women. It is absolutely created through pain and suffering. I'm an advocate for it. Can I respond to that? Yes, you can. I was going to ask you. How did you feel about what he said? I agree 100 percent. 
I think what I was trying to communicate is when women particularly shame men for going in the direction of red pill by just saying you're insecure. You can never have a woman that you really want. So, and you've been hurt by her. So you have to go in this negative direction to project all of this angst you have inside of you. And what I'm saying is that is what they're trying to make it is some sort of malfunction in a man's experience that's causing him to go in this direction. What I'm saying is it's natural. It's what it is, is it's a natural hurt that becomes wisdom. It's not a insecure um, malfunction hurt that turns into something passive aggressive, which is how most women are seeing it. So I'm speaking to them. I think a hundred percent Anton, what you're saying is correct, but I think women have to hear it's not about a malfunction. It's about a process of growth. That's but men I mean. shouldn't care what women think. Definitely. Why I'm speaking even, to the women. Why are we even? No, I, I understand what you're saying, and I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm also speaking to men, and I'm saying, why are you listening to women? Like, you shouldn't even care or take into consideration what their thoughts on as far as your ability to be able to really live in your purpose and become what you're supposed to be. As a matter of fact, I would say to most men, ignore women because they're going to come with the greatness anyway. They'll get in line once you become what you're supposed to be. I promise you. Don't even don't even consider them. But yeah, I feel you. I feel what you're saying. K, our alpha man created from hurt. Um, no, not in general. Uh, I think there's a survivorship bias situation going on here. Because if we think of all the men that are hurt, that have all this trauma and all these other things, we would have a lot more alpha men if alpha men were created from hurt. There would be a lot more out in these streets if hurt is the thing that created them. Now, absolutely, I agree that I think that not agree, but like, because I'm not sure if anybody said that, but I absolutely think that if you have been hurt, you can still be an alpha male, but are alpha men created from hurt? No, or else we would have tons more alpha men because there's tons of men that have this hurt and this trauma and all these things. When we think about the men who make it through and become alphas, that is survivorship bias. It's just like when people say, well, Jay-Z didn't graduate from high school and look at him. Well, yeah, for every one Jay-Z, there's however many people who didn't graduate that aren't making money or doing all these things or whatever. Did you just say survivorship bias? Is that what we just said? That's a real thing. Oh my Jesus Christ, bro. This is nuts. Hey, do you believe in rite of passage for men? Um, yeah, but I think that in our um, Western society and black culture, those things have not really been put in place in a traditional, I guess, kind of way where everyone kind of has the same rites of passage, like in different cultures. Um, I, I ask that because I think what Anton is talking about is something that's necessary for a man, young man's growth. And I think it's being conflated with something that is like traumatic. Like it sounds like when you're saying survivor, survivorship bias, that's like um, something that shouldn't be happening. Like it's it's not a thoughtful process. And I think that's the opposite of what's being um, encouraged here. You know, the, the formative pain, as someone said in the comments, something that's for a reason to help men grow. Do you see that as something traumatic? Um, so, I mean, it said our alpha men created from hurt, and I was just answering that. She wants us all to be oh. Zaya Zaya Wade. Come on. She wants us all to be Dwayne Wade's son, fam. That's what she wants. <laughs> Look at her. That's right. what she wants, bro. I'm telling you, man. If 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 you leave it up to these women to determine the, the fate of men, we all gonna be wearing tutus and skirts 
and and prance across the thing and they gonna and they gonna tell us not to even label us men no more label us humans like we're not doing that yo men create it from hurt i'm saying there's so many hurt men that if that was the ingredient that created an alpha man there would be way more alpha men no that's not, that's true. not true what it is what, what it is okay let, let me explain this to you i'm gonna break it down to you this is what Thank happens you. The hurt, the suffering is what separates the men that are built for certain things and the men that aren't, right? It's not the suffering itself is going to be the one thing that turns out. It's so many of the factors that go into it. How was you raised? Exactly. Are you willing? Wait, 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 wait. Because everybody going to get hurt, but it's the ones that's willing to endure through the hurt to the success exactly. that's going. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Because you're saying hurt in itself by itself it's not just the hurt it's the endurance through the hurt long enough to actually get to the results yes. and that's the part that you're not taking into consideration no. hurt does no. create no anton i'm about to no the reason i'm saying no is because it would be different if the question was do alpha men persevere do alpha men overcome do alpha men do this or that the question is, are alpha men created from hurt? If they, but if, you cannot become an alpha. You cannot become a great man without suffering. So you need the pain. You still got to go through it. Yo, Anton. Not, but it, Anton, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a position it like this, and I'm sorry because you, you kind of did steal some of my thunder, and Danielle touched on it too. Um, you know, when you think about creating a sword, because this is how I thought about the question: <laughs> being forged in the fire right so if i was to pose the question from jr I, you know and i pose the question are alpha men forged in the fire same thing created from hurt it's one thousand percent it's one thousand percent we are for men are men forged in the fire right so to Anton's point, everybody goes through it a different type of way at a different type of point at different places in their life. Um, and you see only the strong survive in that regard. Um, somebody saying Kanye West is the best example. I'm not sure how they mean that. Um, Cause I'm not sure, you know, what fire he was forged in. And I'm not sure how most people look at him, whether he's alpha beta, I have my own opinion. Um, I just, I don't necessarily consider Kanye you know, alpha characteristic per se. What? Look at this cornball. You see this cornball? What is what that? Is, what is statement on the screen? Rushan. Most of Rushan. You hear Rushan <laughs> tr trying to give us some game. Right. Fam, how would how would you know, bro? You put me you put me and him in a pit together. I I give you I give him five seconds and and I'm done with him. He been on I'm your done platform? with him. No, I'm just looking at him. I'm looking at what he said. You put put me him in the, in him in the pit for five seconds. I'm walking out with his head, bro. Men, men, are, forged, that, bro. men are forged. I mean, Anton, I, you know, you stole a lot of my thunder on this question, so I, I don't have much to add to it. It's just that my perspective is that men are forged in the fire, and you know, uh, if you want to get even to a basic, like if you even if you think about gang culture, you know. The people that come through those ranks and, and 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 Danielle was talking about rites of passage. If you go to indigenous cultures, there are rites of passage and the people that survive. Those are the ones that are promoted and the ones that don't survive. You're held back or relegated to a lesser part in that community. Yeah. And I want to and I see the comment about Michael Jordan. And this is what I want to say is that alphas are made. And they're made through their experience. So when Anton is saying that it depends on how they endure, what I would add to that is alpha men are made because they go through something and then they have an obsession of success where nothing is going to stop them. So we can use an example of Michael Jordan. He might have gone through something. We're not getting picked for his high school basketball team or whatnot. So he was obsessed to be the greatest. That's what makes him alpha. It's, it's not just being great. He is the greatest. If we look at Kwame Brown, I consider him an alpha man. He's gone through a lot within these past 20 years and they woke up a beast and now he's obsessed. He's obsessed. He's, his mama's cooking is gone crazy and he ain't taking no holds bars because he's obsessed with success. Malcolm X. Becky with the good hair. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> or even Malcolm X. How many brothers get out of jail and become Muslim and selling bee pies? Malcolm X is him because he became obsessed with change, obsessed with the success. That's what separates majority of men that will be beta from the, the minority of men that's going to be alpha because to have that obsession as a mind state, majority of people don't have it. That's what separates alpha through the experience, but that obsession for greatness is what makes them an alpha. That was my two cents. You know, it's so funny. <laughs> uh, I hear, I'll be seeing all these tough guys or whatever like that. None of them won't even face me. They don't even come on. They, they, they won't even come on the show. They won't call in. They won't cam up. None. Hey, we seen the last guy. What happened to the last guy that cammed oh, up with me? Like, well, well, I don't want to. I don't, I don't talk to these corn balls that think they, they. We don't even label ourselves. Shut up, punk. Your wife DM me yesterday. I don't want to hear that. Get out of here, with my face. Snatch your head <laughs> off and feed it to my daughter. You corn ball. <laughs> Let me start it, bro. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on?